Hello everyone, and welcome to The Mortuary. I am The Mortician. And today, I'm going to be talking about some of my unpopular opinions. So, before we get into this, you can leave a dislike if you want, if it, you feel like any of these opinions hurt your feelings, or you want to leave a comment calling me an idiot, or you want to explain why I'm wrong about something, you go right ahead, I don't care, do whatever you have to to help cope with the fact that someone out there have, holds these opinions. Alright? So, for starters, I think I'm going to start with what I consider to be the biggest one. I don't really like Mayhem. <laughs> I really am not a huge fan of Mayhem. Now, that being said, I understand the importance of Mayhem and their uh, first album and Death Crash. I completely understand the importance of those two things. I, I'm very thankful for what they've created, but I gotta be honest with you, I'd rather listen to the people that they've inspired rather than them, because I honestly think their shit's kind of boring, <laughs> honestly. Now, for example, I would rather listen to like Dark Thrones stuff or uh, Limbonic Art or Emperor or Immortal or anything like that. I'd much rather listen to like 90% of what came out of Norway during that time rather than Mayhem. And you know, it's not like I never liked those albums, you know, I'm just going to call them albums. One's an EP, but it's whatever. I'm calling them albums for the sake of brevity. I used to love them. I used to listen to them all the time, and now I just feel like I never really listen to them. I feel like I'm always going for their peer stuff. I feel like there's nothing in Demetrius Domsethanis or Death Crush that really gets me in the mood to listen to them. Every once in a while, and every once in a blue moon, um, I'll listen to Freezing Moon or something like that. But there's not really anything there that I feel like I have to listen to the album consistently. Like, I'd rather listen to anything else that inspired. For, be it from Norway, be it from like Brazil or Canada or the US or Finland or Greece or wherever. I'd much rather listen to other black metal. Uh, my second one, I don't really like Mormon Angel that much. Um, that sounds like kind of like a meh opinion, not like a super hot tank or anything, because it kind of is, but kind of isn't at the, at the same time. See, I like Alters of Madness, right? I'm not crazy about that record anymore. I used to be. I used to listen to it all the time. It's another record I used to listen to all the time. Don't really get the feeling anymore that I really like listening to it, if that makes sense. Like, I, there's never any point in time where I'm like, I have to listen to Alters of Madness. Because I feel like I'm subjected to it against my will constantly. And it, it's whatever. You know, I like the album and I loved the album. But now at this point, it's just so oversaturated that I really never want to put it on. Um, and I still do like that album. So bear that in mind. Every single album that follows Altars of Madness can fucking die. I hate every single album they ever put out after Altars of Madness. I don't like Blessed Are the Sick. I don't like Gateways to Annihilation. I don't like Covenant. I don't like uh, Domination. I don't like any of that shit. All of that shit's considered classic. But I fucking find it so boring. There is like nothing in any of these albums that makes me go, yes, this is really good. There's not really any good hooks. There's not really any great guitar work in my opinion. It just all feels so meh, so mediocre that I just, I don't even consider it. Like I tried to listen to Blessed Out of the Sick recently. I hated it. I had to turn it off halfway through. It was so bad. Um, I don't understand what anyone sees in that record. I think it's fucking boring as hell. I'm sorry that you listen to that record, whoever you are. You probably listen to that record. I'm pretty sure that's one of their most popular records. So, my third one, I should probably stop numbering them at this point because I'm not going to remember after three. Um, I can only count up to three, just so you know. Uh, but my third one is, uh, I'm not really a huge fan of Possessed either. 
Um, you might see a common theme with the last two. I used to love them, and now I'm not so much. This is kind of the same deal. I used to love Seven Churches. Seven Churches and Altars of Madness were two albums I spun like nonstop. I fucking loved them. These two albums were like mainstays in my Call of Duty Black Ops zombie uh, soundtrack. You know what I mean? Like I used to blast those albums. That them too had actually severed survival. I used to blast those three and just go on a zombie killing spree with my friend. And uh, that's pretty much the only time I listen to either of these anymore. And any other context, I never want to listen to them. And Seven Churches, Beyond the Gates, whatever, none of it really does anything for me outside of that context. I feel like I never, ever, ever get that itch to really listen to Seven Churches. Once again, don't deny its influence. It was a very influential album when it came out, inspired a lot of bands uh, to, to basically pick up the torch of death metal and move it beyond Seven Churches. And I'm glad for that, but it's not really that great to me. I really, like I said, I do like it, but I feel like it lacks something that makes me love it, if that makes sense. Now, another one. I don't really like Venom. I, I don't. Um, that being said, once again, because there's always nuance, you know, like, I, I never have an opinion that I feel like, I, I, I feel like there are a lot of people who just drop hot takes and then never explain them. So. When you actually get down to the nuance of what I'm saying, you know, it, it, it kind of makes more sense, which is why I keep explaining it, which is why I'm explaining why I'm explaining myself, because otherwise this video will be 15 seconds long. But my problem is with Venom, I was never a huge fan of Venom. I was never, ever, ever, ever in love with this band. Um, even when I was younger, I heard them and I was like, eh. And even to this day, when I hear them, I'm like, eh, they have some good songs. Like, I like uh, Live Like an Angel, Die Like a Devil. I like, uh, I like, uh, fucking Sacrifice and stuff like that. I like those songs. But I could live without them. I, and, and this is where the hottest part of the stake comes in, I'm sure. But I would take Bulldozer any day of the week over Venom, and I do. Like, I almost exclusively listen to Bulldozer. Like, if I have that feel like I want to listen to something Venom-esque, I'll just listen to fucking Bulldozer. Bulldozer, in my opinion, is way more consistent. Their music writing ability is way better than Venom's, in my opinion. I fucking love Bulldozer, but I don't really like Venom. And once again, it's a case of, like, I understand their influence. I, there's no denying um, how influential Venom was in, 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 not just in metal or black metal, but in music, because what they did, they really turned the entire fucking idea of what music could be, just turned it on its head. I won't deny them that, but it's not really something I'm into. Once again, it's one of those things where I'd rather listen to the bands that they influenced rather than them, because I feel like they're so much better than them. And I always get tired of that argument. So, you know, for Mayhem and Venom, I hear it all the time, like, you know, well, they, they they created this genre without them, blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what? Just because they created something does not exclude them from being, uh, you know, like second best or whatever, or third best or 50,000th best. They created it. Cool. People took it and people refined it. And that's how I view these bands. Um, another one. Not really a big fan of Carcass. I almost never want to listen to Carcass. I really don't understand how people love them so much. I feel like they, they, they did some interesting stuff. And once again, I won't deny them that. They, they are an interesting band, but there's something about them, their sound that really, it just, it's, it's not interesting or engaging to me. So for a lot of Carcass's works, I feel like it just feels poorly put together, if that makes sense. Like I, like, I feel like when they go from one riff to another, it's a very jarring uh, transition, almost universally. And I feel like throughout that entire band's history, they never really found out how to properly go from 
one section of a song to another that doesn't make it sound like it, 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 it's, it's jarring, which I, I hate to use that word, but that's the best word I can use. And so I never really got into Carcass. They have some great riffs, and I'm not, once again, I won't deny them that. They have some great riffs. Not really my thing. Not really my thing. Another thing, this one might be more of an unpopular thing amongst a certain group of people, but not necessarily people as a whole. I don't really like Argoslund. I feel like, if, like, just fuck the lyrics. Like, we're not gonna talk about the lyrics. We're gonna talk purely about the music because that's 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 what I care about. Their fucking transitions are worse than Carcass's. So, if Carcass is jarring, I don't even know what the hell to call Argoslund. Argoslund have some pretty cool fucking riffs. Once again, really cool shit. Really cool melodies. But they've never, in their entire career, learned how to, you know, piece together those really cool melodies and riffs together in a way that just doesn't feel like it's you're being slapped in the face while you listen to it. it, it it's really, really poorly written, in my opinion. And the riffs themselves and the melodies themselves, taken and inspected on their own, are amazing. But they just don't work at, 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 on, on a whole in a whole song and that's just that another thing don't really like Iron Man I mean that I I think the only album I like by Iron Maiden is somewhere in time and it, I don't even like that that much Iron Maiden makes really good songs right so like Ace is High I like that song I like every song on somewhere in time However, I feel like their ability to actually properly put make a track listing is so bad. I feel like every single Iron Maiden album I ever listened to is just more of a compilation of songs rather than a complete progressive piece of art. Which, an album doesn't necessarily have to be a complete progressive piece of art, but you can have that sense of compilation-ness that actually feels uh, like it belongs. Like you could find uh, compilations for like bands, for example, um, you have like different demos to, on like a single CD, but they all kind of work together. They're not just haphazardly thrown on there for whatever arbitrary reason. And I feel like Iron Maiden's albums are made that way. They don't really pay attention to how an album flows. So most of their fucking albums, I think, just suck, even though I like the songs on the album. So that's how I feel. Don't really like Metallica. <laughs> this one is probably not going to really be a huge shocker um, to any person, but just the fucking look at me. Right? I'll just look at my beautiful, neck-bearded face. Like, I don't really like Metallica. I like Ride the Lightning a little bit, and if I listen to anything by Metallica, it's usually off that album. But Kill 'Em All, Master of Puppets, Injustice for All, you know, Black Album, uh, all that stuff, I just, I could live without. I could totally 100% live without their existence. And uh, some people might make the argument that Kill 'Em All was also really influential, which, fine, whatever. Um, my problem is is that the thrash sound being the thrash sound would have probably come into existence with or without Metallica um, Honestly, there's not really anything too out of the ordinary on Kill 'em All a lot of the stuff on Kill 'em All just seems or to, at least to me sounds a lot like a faster paced kind of uh, heavy metal which that's kind of how it started out anyway also Megadeth, and I don't even have an exception really. I do not really enjoy Megadeth. I tolerate Megadeth, but I never, ever, 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 ever listen to them on my own. Um, they have some cool riffs, but there's nothing that I haven't heard before. And Dave Mustaine's voice honestly makes me want to rip my eyes out. Like, I really dislike the way he sounds. He sounds like a cat being thrown into a dryer. I don't like it at all, which is kind of funny because I like black metal so much, but there's something about Dave's singing voice 
That's just terrible. It just does not jive with me. Um, and it's such a shame because at some point they had Marty Friedman, who was in Cacophony with Jason Becker, which I love that. I love that album, Speed Battle Symphony. Um, but he just doesn't work well in Megadeth, and I feel like Megadeth in general doesn't work well. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't. I don't know if there's any other unpopular. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I talked about death, but I was just gonna save you the trouble. I don't like death at all. Like another band, I never really got my way for. And if I do, there's a small pool of songs that I like, and then nothing else. Um, anything after spiritual, spiritual healing can just be tossed in a fire. I don't like any of it. Um, also, prog metal sucks, and people who like prog metal probably are pretentious assholes, which I do realize the hypocrisy in that statement. I just do not care. Um, if we're gonna be, if you're gonna be a pretentious asshole, I also am a pretentious asshole. I mean, what, just have you seen my videos? Do you know what I listen to? So take the advice or the 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 hit on the chin from another pretentious asshole. Me and you, Prague boy, are brothers. <laughs> you're just the retarded brother that no one loves. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope this video was fun. I like making these lighthearted videos. Um, so please tell me how I did in the comment section below. Uh, do you agree with me? Uh, do you disagree with me? Do you like it, dislike it, subscribe. Uh, yeah, all that cool shit. So thank you guys for watching. Mortician, peace out.